Here are the steps to create an account for the international route with a license. First, you click on don't have an account. You'll enter all the information with an asterisk. Then under select a route, you'll select international. You'll type in the name of your school. Create a password. Confirm the password and click on create account. Then a link has been sent to the email address to verify. So you go to your email, click on the account creation email, and then click on the activation link. Now the account is verified. You can click on log in and then re-enter that same email and password. I'll log in. Here it's the welcome screen. You can click on continue and then complete your profile now. Here you can see the information we entered in the in the account creation comes is pulled in. If you need to edit anything, you can click on this blue um, edit button in the right hand corner. You want to complete everything that is on the left hand side in pink. So address information. Click on save. Then under educational information, uh, it's pulled in from uh, the account creation. If you have any highest non-homeopathy education, you would include that here and any other credentials. And do you have a medical license? Um, if you click on yes, and you select the type of license that you have from the list here, and then um, insert your license number there and click on save. And then the demographic information. If you need a, a reasonable request for the exam, you would click this box here and you must download this testing form at least two weeks prior to applying um, for the exam. Click on save. And now you are ready to um, enter your documentation. So do you have a license in homeopathy? We're gonna click on yes. And then you click on start the application. And then, so here under license, you would uh, click on view. There are several sections to complete. This would, um, you would in insert your license number here as well as select a file, click on open and save, and then yes, save it. Then you'll complete the ethics section. So here you have two checkboxes to complete. Um, you need to click on the link here in blue read through the ethics, code of professional ethics, you can scroll through and jump to the different sections as needed. And then when you go back to the application, the box is now checked, you can check the box. Same thing with the CHC client patient healthcare rights. So click on that, read through the rights, and then go back to the application and click on the check box and click on save, and then yes to save it. Uh, fitness to practice. So here, um, there are going to be questions about uh, your fitness to practice, physical, mental, and legal capacity. If you answer yes to any of the uh, questions, you must upload a personal written statement that addresses the history and current status of the health or legal issue. And after submission, after the submission is reviewed, the CHC office will contact you. So here you can see you need to answer all of these questions. If you do have um, a yes, then you would just upload a file um, and continue on. And then acknowledge uh, the two statements here, click on save. And then confidentiality of test questions. I acknowledge the CHC exam and exam questions are the secure copyrighted 
property of the CHC and as a condition of testing, I agree not to discuss the exam, specific exam questions and cases with anyone other than the CHC office. I will not duplicate, retain, or keep any part of the exam materials in whole or in part, paper or digital, or in any other form. Okay. I agree to maintain the confidentiality of all test questions and cases. I acknowledge that I will leave all bags, books, printed materials, notes, electronic devices, including but not limited to cell phones, smartphones, computers, or tablets outside the examination room or virtual environment during the exam. Violation of this agreement in whole or in part may result in receiving a failing grade and or subsequent disqualification from the certification process. If there are any irregularities or adverse events during the exam administration, please report them by telephone and email uh, the office within 24 hours. On save and yes to save it. And so here you can see we've completed everything in blue and now we need to go to complete and pay. So I have read and understand and agreed to the section's ethics, fitness to practice and confidentiality of test questions within this application. And to the best of my knowledge, the details I have provided are true and correct. And then we sign and then go to pay and pay. And now it says, congratulations, you have successfully completed the certification exam application. We will review your application within two to three weeks and you'll receive an email notification of the application status, either accepted, correction requested, or denied. Once the application is accepted by the CHC exam committee, uh, then you can go ahead and pay the exam fee to receive a voucher to register for the exam. Um, and then I, here I have the my payment details. And if I need to view my receipt, I can do that there. 